Hey guys, Kane here and in this video we're going to talk about dragons from beginning up until probably mid game from what I have gathered and what I have used. So first things first, as you can see I'm still using an Azure dragon but I do want to get an onyx uh, but I want to get an onyx with um, the blessed hero predation. Apparently getting something like this is very very hard and usually on the first um, learning ability I just remove the uh, predation. So I'm not entirely sure when I will be able to get it but uh, that's what I would like to get eventually. So dragons you have quite a few features in terms of like the draconic in terms of like the draconic awakening and all that kind of stuff. However, not all the dragons are pretty good comparing to what others can do from early to let's say mid game. On late game, quite a few other dragons like the Jade Dragon do show some appearance and do uh, perform pretty good, but it doesn't perform good in early and mid game at least from my knowledge and from what I have noticed in some PvPs whoever tried to use them. Other than that, uh, let's start from the beginning. So I've said in uh, quite a few uh, videos and times that a Ruby Dragon is pretty much the best in the early game. It's going to carry you through a lot of events, through a lot of events like... Um, I don't think that I have them at the moment in my list. Uh... No, unfortunately, there are no events uh, which uh, the Red Dragon can carry at the moment. But pretty much even uh, the simplest of things uh, like the Pinnacle, like let's say the Crisis Prophecy and all that kind of stuff. In the beginning, the Red Dragon will always perform a lot better than majority of others. And that's simply because uh, of his uh, specific ability, which is the Incendiary Scales. So this ability will do a lot of damage. It procs every couple of seconds and it doesn't require like um, a casting like cooldown or like a casting action where your dragon would have to stand and do something. This procs on itself uh, while your dragon is doing something else. So if you have this, you have the swell and you have the repulse. Sometimes all three of these can proc at the same time doing like four AoEs of insane damage. At the same time if you have rampage on it, it becomes tanky and procedurally uh, going towards like uh, the mid battle it uh, trades that uh, damage reduction towards more attack which would in terms increase like the damage for his skills. I'm not entirely sure how much the damage does affect or rather how much the attack does affect the damage however this number does some sort of an effect towards uh, like the abilities and all that kind of stuff so the more you have it the stronger the dragon is. Now Going from early game and uh, towards like mid game, I think uh, the Ruby Dragon can last up until Castle 40 and after Castle 40 this dragon becomes less and less useful. However, a new ability that has come up, which is one second. I know uh, one of my uh, guild mates have it and has all four of them. So a new ability has come up and it's called the uh, Blessed Aura Blast. So in a sense you can think of this as like a repulse but with um, damage taken increase on the enemy. I'm not entirely sure why this hasn't upgraded so I, I think it's 35%. Or something damage increasing effect increased by 20% but this one shows 15. So I'm not entirely sure whether or not this will be 20% uh, or this will be 35%. But as you can see the damage is almost similar as repulse. However it also increases the damage taken of uh, the units or, or rather the army that this uh, ability hits. And also does 20% damage to ranged units. 
And this ability basically can target the back line in front of him as well as like the front line in front of him. So he can hit quite far and essentially in the early game if you would get something like this on a Ruby Dragon it could probably be game breaking for you because anything in front of that dragon will just die almost instantly. But I mean, this can be put on even an Onyx Dragon and etc. Like this doesn't have to be on Robbie. But this is what I'm saying towards like an overall powerhouse of an early game. Other than that, the second strongest dragon um, in the early to mid game is pretty much the Onyx one. Now, I don't have a proper Onyx. I just made this for um, just the research. Let's see if somebody else has a proper Onyx. I think this one has a proper one. So yeah. So the reason why Onyx is good is because of his uh, black uh, holes that he spawns on the field. So this one, it does uh, three balls at the very beginning or other holes. And uh, it sees sometimes like 50% of your field, sometimes less, sometimes more. He has only two abilities, which is the Dream Breaker, which is uh, some CC. And he has the Blessed Draconic uh, Blessings, which is a buff to his archers. And the rest he doesn't have. He doesn't have even the scales, which kind of makes his dragon very, very uh, susceptible to damage. Now, he has leveled almost all of his Draconic Talents to uh, Tier 4. So this dragon is providing him quite a lot. Aside from that, um, the most important skill on this dragon, and he doesn't have it. I'm unsure why, but let's see if somebody else has it. So the most important skill on his uh, on Onyx dragon is the Blessed Internal Void. Now, whenever any unit on your side of the field dies, it has a chance to summon a black hole. Now, this black hole is not as uh, strong as like the Graviton Surge, whose holes are a lot bigger. But depending how many of your units die, sometimes this can do an insane amount of damage. And sometimes if they spawn on the same place, it can obliterate the front line. The majority of the replays that I have played and I have, like sometimes the dragon is able to completely demolish like the entire field. I think I have a replay with uh, one of my friends uh, showing me and I'm just going to show like the uh, dragon damage rather than uh, anything else. As you can see, mages did a lot, but this black dragon legitimately just carried the entire fight. And this is what can happen in quite a lot of circumstances. So as you can see, Eternal Void, Graviton Surge, uh, the dragon doesn't really have anything insanely overpowered. Like he has an ability that most dragons have and all the other skills are pretty generic. And as you can see, only like uh, tier ones unlocked on his uh, draconic talents. And again, that is like pretty much it. So this is why uh, the Black Dragon is kind of overpowered around um, mid-game. I, th I mean, you can still use it in the early game, but it kind of screws with the majority of your events. So that aside, somewhere in the mid-game, you are starting to um, experience the Azure Dragon and it performing a little bit better. Now, honestly, I tried Onyx and Azure at the same time. And Azure, I made it in the first try. Onyx, I think I messed up like 30 plus Onyx blessed predations. So I kind of had no choice and I had to stick with my Azure. Now the Azure, uh, the majority or most important skill is the blessed noble blood. Friendly units take 15% reduced physical damage and recover health per second based on uh, what health they have or their uh, max health, I think. So this one, this skill is kind of overpowered the further into the game you get. Now in the um, mid game, I've used it from mid game up until this point, And I can tell you for a fact, like this dragon doesn't perform as well as an Onyx dragon. 
like majority of uh, the fights i can even like show you uh, basic replays like it doesn't even heal that much like you see the damages uh, the tanking and as you can see it's like 63 million similar to my virion with a band of bishop similar to my vega and as you can see like simplest of things as well very close uh damage this a bit uh let's see dragon isn't even existent on this ranking like you can see turtle virion uh blades then you have and then you have like the seventh or eighth is the dragon uh scrolling a little bit down somebody uh, here he damaged my field so let's check the healing healing turtle virion uh a lot of heroes even army and then you have like the azure dragon so in terms of like healing perhaps my other sources out heal majority of the damage but the azure dragon for me doesn't do quite a lot i'm not again entirely sure if it's my overhealing or not but i didn't have very good experiences with this dragon thus i want to switch to an onyx and personally i would just advise an onyx dragon for majority of the players I mean, Lich uh, races can use it a lot better, but overall, like this dragon in, in the version of PvP can do a major amount of uh, success for you, and not only in terms of fighting. Now, there is a thing where if you have the, uh, one second, the Eternal Void, if you attack his units and you eventually kill some, whenever this dragon spawns a black hole, and you are trying to cast the skill it will like uh, cancel you out of the skill while you're trying to cast it so for example if you click on um Basric's bad blitz and a black hole appears on your field through eternal void you cannot cast bad blitz until you re-click the bad blitz like two times and then click again but if another black hole appears you're cancelled out of it again like this is some sort of a bug which is insanely annoying and it can lose fights as well and since i'm like pvping on pc like trying to click back to the skill onto the field onto the skill onto the field sometimes you can miss the proper targets or whatever and again like this dragon does a lot in pvp and also is like pretty annoying in pvp as well just so you know anyways that's pretty much it for this video thanks for watching guys and stay safe out there